what's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy the profit? Hey yo, what's the word? What's the move? What's the play? Hope you guys are having a great day. And yeah, man. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about builds, the best builds, particularly in every game mode in Bleach Brave Souls. So yes, we'll be a little bit comprehensive, but I'll try and get everything out of here as quickly as possible. But yeah, you already know we're about to get it popping. I hope you got into the content. Let's get it lit. Drop my shit. Back plugged in again. All right, so let's do it, man. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about builds, the best builds in the game. First off, we're gonna start with just regular autoing, right? So just setting up a character to auto a quest when you're not gonna be playing, all right? And this is single player only, so keep that in mind, right? So this is gonna be your standard auto build, and of course, this is more than a standard auto build because I have a gold chappy, but this is your cream of the crop, which you'd wanna use for an auto build. You could go some like last ditch survival if it's a situation where the character you're using might die, but this Grim Jow, this boy ain't dying, <laughs> so, so yeah, so uh, the Rio Cortez trio, um, we call that a speed stick. So yeah, slap on the speed stick, and you can even do a five-star speed stick and a four-star speed stick if you want. Then a gold chappy or regular chappy, whatever you want. Because most of the time, a powerful character like this, especially if you have a level 10 attack slot and a special level 10 focus, you're gonna absolutely destroy at that point. Um, you're gonna be able to just auto pretty much anything, just depending on who the character is, if they are built for autoing. But so how do you know when to use chappies on the character? Well, if you have the skill called flurry, poise, and a damage reduction link, then that's when you're gonna know, okay, this is a character that you generally wanna use a chappie on because their attack is gonna be much higher than their spiritual pressure. So if they don't have frenzy, then you wanna put a chappie on them. But if they have the skill called frenzy, you never wanna put a chappie dispenser on them at all. So keep that in mind. And if you don't have a golden chappie, I would just go regular chappie, speed stick, and then like a captain's robe or like a stamina item. For Grimjaw, it would be an unfinished Hogyoku. But if you don't have a speed stick, obviously that's just like something extra. Um, a lot of you guys may or may not have all of those, but that is the best thing that you want to use. It's going to make you auto faster. So you want to use those if you have them. Of course, for a Grimjaw, you'd want attack rolls on them. You're always going to want attack rolls on Chappies. The only second, only option that's even decent, really, aside that is um, for regular PvE content, is maybe focus. But other than that, for PvP, you're going to want defense on your regular Chappies. And I would even say um, attack on your gold Chappies. But yeah, so we'll just move on. That's just a regular PvE farming build for solo player. Um, this is more of a, uh, this is a farming build that I use for solo player as well with Tokinata with um, SP units. This is actually a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty swaggy build. You see my Tokinata has 102% um, strong attack damage, which is the equivalent to having a frenzy. So yeah, his strong attack hit really hard. He has level, uh, level three focus. So he has 2000 extra focus. So his strong attacks are gonna hit hard just as well as the normal attack, as well as the soul bomb. So I kind of really like this build. Um, same thing, this is just how I run my Tokinata. And if I was gonna run him in co-op, I'd run him just like this, maybe with the tension tie instead of the speed stick. But yeah, essentially that's what I would do. Um, and also Tokinata, a lot of people run uh, Chappies on him because he has flurry. Whereas I like to take advantage of his strong attacks and his boosts as much as I can which is why I put recharge links and strong attack damage links on them. Mind you, Heart has literally the most busted links in the entire game. Um, but yeah, so now we'll go ahead and we'll move on to, we'll move on to a standard character that you wanna use, a standard SP character. So 
how you know you have an SP character or skills like Havoc, Frenzy, um, really, yeah, just Havoc and Frenzy, Berserker, those, that's a really good one. Uh, weakened Defense is great, additional flash steps, but yeah, so Frenzy is really the main giveaway of when you have an, a unit that you want to use SP units on. So you never want to use Chappies on these units because that'll take their SP to zero, which, has, which is how they mainly deal their damage. So with these characters you're going to be focusing on using your strong attacks as quickly as you can. And uh, yeah, spamming the enemy, just, just bursting them down. If you see, Frenzy is 100% extra strong attack damage, so it doubles your strong attack hits. And then Candace has an additional 20% uh, on top of the links that I have here with her. So yeah, um, if, and if your character is link slotted, you want to use your highest SP links. So if you have any characters that have a really high, like if you, if you take a look here, right? My character links i'll actually sort this by soul trade uh, i'll sort this by spiritual pressure and then do that so now it sh really should show you who has the highest spiritual pressure on top even though with me i know that's a lie because my okiora has more sp than my bodagon but these characters have way more than your average amount of standard spiritual pressure because they have transcendence worked on them so whatever units you have transcended that's kind of who you want to use or put some some work into them but yeah with sp characters the builds are very simple you want to go with the fortification pill like eight times out of ten unless you're autoing um, always want to go with the item that gives you 20% strong attack damage for your affiliation. So for Stern Ridders, it's the Quincy Cross. It could be a Lieutenant's Badge or um, uh, the Iran cards have the Espada Chair, so on and so forth. Um, and then the Hunting Cap is a really good option. You could also use a Hollow Bait, but that's going to reduce your SP, but that will give you higher crit numbers. So when you have, you know, characters that are max transcended, you know, having higher focus is pretty good, to be honest. But yeah, so the main two that you always want to do are going to be your 20% strong attack damage item for your affiliation, the fortification pill, and you could go hunting cap, you could go tension tie, you could go zeta pill. It just depends. Um, zeta pill is one of the most quintessential items for because essentially there's so many enemies that hide underground so reaper killers or wrong car killers and no affiliation killers have those enemies that hide underground and you might need to, to put on this zeta pill to give you 100 chance to hit hidden enemies if you don't have these it's perfectly fine but what's the use in having a tension tie to be able to clear multiple waves if you can't even bomb through all the waves because um, because they're underground enemies and you can't even hit them. So keep in mind, this is your standard, just regular PVE build just for clearing content. This is a, a very good example of a, a good build for co-op. Tension tie, you always wanna have a tension tie in co-op, especially if you're the host. The host has the strongest soul bomb. The host can affect multiple waves at once if you're not the host, you cannot bomb and kill multiple enemies at once. It, it, it does, the game doesn't allow you to do that um, in co-op unless you're the host. So just take a look at this. Zeta pill because Biak is a Soul Reaper killer. Lieutenant's badge and attention ties. So with him, I don't I don't have a fortification pill on because I auto a lot with this Biakia. And you'll see I have a freeze reduction uh, and, and recharge link. And then a stamina recovery and recharge link. Just really, really good to help him auto a bit more completely. And there's some transcendence worked on with my Quincy Ichigo. But yeah, that's just a really good build for autoing Inheritance Zone. Um, oh, also I can show you my Bambietta because I have a Quincy Cross with her. So Quincy Cross, um, uh, our Cape Fastener, Quincy Cross, and then a Zeta Pill. But most likely I'd use a Tension Tie or I'll go Cape Fastener, Tension Tie, Zeta Pill if I needed to. And then you see the links with combination recharge and poison duration and recharge and fire duration. So just kind of mix it up with the links as long as you have recharge and if you can get any kind of second uh, any kind of second effect whether it be 
reduction of some effect or you know last ditch or damage reduction or nad whatever you can get that's gonna you know spice up your build i would definitely go with that Here's a really good example of my Kisuke because he can straight up auto IZ. I don't have a hollow pill or a bait on him. I have a captain's robe and a normal attack damage item and a tension tie with two, well, with a DR and a NAD and then a NAD and a last ditch and then SAR in last ditch because I run him as a hybrid and his shield, his barrier move makes it so that you can survive those one hit KO moves in inheritance zone co-op. And also guys, if you're playing any game mode and there's an extra stage where a soul bomb drops, never grab the soul bomb unless you're the host because the host can affect your, your clear time the most. So keep that in mind, literally never grab that unless like you literally wait like five seconds and the host just wasn't going to grab it but you always want to let the host grab that extra soul bomb always 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 in co-op that's going to speed you up the fastest so taking one more look at some good co-op builds my fifth anniversary ichigo has a t-set tension tie and a fortification pill mainly he has a tension tie because he's only one of five so yeah if he was more if it's like three or five i wouldn't really need a tension tie but yep one of five you're definitely going to need a tension tie um that's just to get the most out of your soul bomb and then strong tech recharge strong tech damage strong tech recharge strong tech damage and then that's one of my highest sp um, recharge characters for power so that's pretty much basic builds for co-op and standard pve gameplay right now pve P is a bit different for builds because you have Jugram as a balance. And with him, essentially everybody else, you're going to want to build them for defense. Jugram is like the one exception. You can build him for pretty much whatever you want to. But yeah, you essentially want to build him for defense, defense, defense. And yeah, and the reason that that is is because... <laughs> every other character you're going to want them to survive with jugram's onslaught so that's essentially what goes into it um that should be the, this should be their attack or defense i'll reroll that in a little bit but yeah with everybody else i have defense rolls on my chappies so you see the links damage reduction with nad damage reduction with nad and then damage reduction go right there looking at the other pvp units and then everybody else is pretty much the exact same so you'll see my chad he is defense 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 same thing dr nad dr nad and then dr last ditch makes my chad and my yamamoto builds a lot more viable because they have damage reduction and last ditch but you see I have defense on everything except my golden chappies. So once again, damage reduction, damage reduction on that, and then damage reduction on last ditch. That's essentially what you want to go with any day or day if you can do that. The only attributes that have last ditch and damage reduction are tech and speed. So keep that in mind right now. And the final build that I'm going to go ahead and kind of give you guys is guild quest. Um, Guild Quest, there's these new items called the Masanga, and I don't believe I have a Masanga equipped to anybody right now, but for Guild Quest, the Masanga is probably the best thing that you can use because you get a 30% magnification to killer in Guild Quest, and if you guys know about magnifications in this game, um, uh, percentage boosts are always better than just getting... 30% more SP. This says 20% or 30% uh, plus 30% killer in Guild Quest. So that means your strong tech damage, your normal tech damage, and your soul bomb are magnified by 30%, which is the best magnification that you can get. So yeah, basically the Masanga is the best thing that you can use for Guild Quest combined with the other things that I said, attention type if you're level one soul bomb and something like a lieutenant's badge because that's another 20 percent straight strong attack you know buff not a 20 percent boost of spiritual pressure so 20 percent strong attack damage is a stronger increase than just increasing your spiritual pressure and you see once again strong tech recharge strong tech damage 
then that strong tech recharge and then of course uh saint kaizen link who's one of the best links in the game beyond a shadow of a doubt but yeah that's pretty much the best builds for everything in the game one quick thing i would say if your character has a flurry you're always going to want to do attack first uh focus second if you're doing regular pve content if you're doing pvp i would go attack first defense or or hp second and then focus third and then stam or defense third and then uh, fourth and then sp last so that's pretty much what i would go for um, a five out of five pvp character and then if your character has frenzy you're always going to want to go sp focus attack and then your other ones don't really make any difference and then your final stat you're going to want to of course go with sp or focus um Focus is better if the character does have a boost or an infinite boost potential. But yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, Profit Nation. I do love y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.